Another look at the weather. Now again, we did have a storm alert weather day earlier, but that has since expired. Let's and think the bags back over to Chief Meteorologist David Carnes. David, we saw some strong winds, heavy rain throughout the evening. Are we done with all of it or is it going to pop up again? Well, we, so we have basically two rounds. We're done with round one. Round one over and done with, but uh, it is not. Uh, yeah, I'm pointing at it. It's a, you'll switch the thing. There it is. There we go. Perfect. Thank you very much. We, have, we can switch from the monitor to the tele teleprompters. That's what I was asking in a very weird way. Uh, take a look at in the wake of the storms, uh, homes without power. We talked about this earlier in the half hour, but my goodness, I uh, just wanted to give you a graphic representation of that. Look at Fannin County, 14,000 homes. That's not people. That is homes without power uh, in Fannin County, 1500 uh, stretching down into Gordon County, so or Gilmer County, excuse me. So in and, and the hundreds and many other counties around the Tennessee Valley, I suspect those will be quickly remedied as we move through the night tonight. A uh, 12 hour rainfall looking at boy, did we have it a uh, 2.3 inches there two two inches there. Uh, I know in Rossville we had a couple of spots where we had not just that heavy hail, but also a couple of inches of rain 0 0.80 just north of Chattanooga. So quite the gully washer and because of all of that heavy rain. We do have a couple of uh, flood advisories in effect, and we've had a number of uh, areas where we had a lot of street flooding. So just be very aware heading out tonight, even with the storms abating. Again, this is round one. Still have fairly heavy rain lifting up through Blue Ridge. Very uh, torrential rain, I would even say, in Blue Ridge in Fannin County. Meanwhile, heavy rain continuing to work its way up into Murphy, and that's going to be continuing to slide eastward out of the area. So most of the night tonight, we're going to be okay for whatever you have planned. And the strongest storms are now to our south, sliding down toward Atlanta. And for us, what we're left with is a few more storms overnight. Now, these may not be as widespread, but these scattered storms, just like the ones today, this afternoon, will have the potential to produce some gusty, if not damaging winds, and maybe some isolated storms with areas of hail inside of them. So this is going to be something that we need to be watchful for during the overnight. We'll take a look at the timing in just a second. Dry after that, heating up next week. Uh, rain chances return next weekend. So upper 60s, right around 70 in Chattanooga. The rain, the thunderstorms, continuing to push out. This is about 830. We're looking good and then take a look overnight about two o'clock in the morning. We're going to have some scattered areas of thunderstorm activity working their way through once again. This is 430 and a nice line of strong to severe thunderstorms making their way through early Monday morning. This is 430, but notice by five, six o'clock in the morning, all of this begins to push off quickly to the east so that by seven, eight o'clock in the morning, it's all gone. Everything's done and we're going to stay dry through the rest of the day. It'll be hot and humid on Monday afternoon. A couple of models try to put in one or two stray showers, but rain chance less than 20% Monday afternoon. The main feature of Monday will be like Tuesday and the rest of the week. A lot of heat, a lot of humidity. It is going to warm up quite a bit. Notice that warm front sliding over us. That is going to allow us by Thursday and Friday to get into the mid to upper 90s. How about that? Well, the evening storms ending and then we'll have those spotty storms overnight that again could produce for the early morning hours, some areas of hail and some areas of damaging winds. So we'll keep that in play for early tomorrow morning. Upper 60s, low 70s, not much of a change in our temperature through the overnight. And then after the early morning storms will begin to clear out and we'll call it hot and humid with a high of 91 in Chattanooga tomorrow afternoon, 89 Cleveland and 90 in Dalton. And your storm alert seven day forecast. I'll put the chance of uh, thunderstorms at 20%. Again, that's for the early morning, the overnight hours into early morning and then clearing out and look at the heat 91 91 91 95 98 and before you think well are we breaking any records not so much have to get up to about 105 on friday to break a record 95 saturday 92 sunday and again scattered showers and thunderstorms a possibility next weekend as well cornelia all right thanks david pretty hot week ahead